Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel for another exciting video. I am the one and only Complex Sims and you already know what I do. So, y'all, I am happy to make this a little bit more consistent for you all because you know my schedule has been very crazy. But we're just going to jump right into it. So, last time... Not the past episode, but the one before that. We saw a little date between Brendan and Evan. So I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to have... Wait, it says invite club to hang out. Could you do that? Like, he's not even in the group, to be honest. So I wonder if he can invite all these people over. We'll see. We'll find out. Um, I'm going to have him... Look at Mr. Ivan Carter. I need to pick up on where we left off with, why is, okay, but why is Sue feeling some type of way? You guys see her? Okay, so I guess everybody is here to hang out. I didn't even know I was capable of doing that, but I'm kind of lit right now. And look, it's here. We have Malaysia. These bundles are everything. Like, girl, how many packs is that? Three or four? Like, how many bundles is that? Three or four? It's very shiny, very succulent, and very good looking. Girl, and here we have her over here, Miss Kyla. Um, if I, okay, I don't have to press invite in, do I? Oh, well, I haven't met these people yet, so I'm gonna just tell them what's good and things of that sort. Everybody is coming, even Miss Lydia Davis. Uh, give her a friendly introduction. Oh my goodness, every member is here. Yeah, say what's up. Tell them what's up, what's good. What's really popping. I'm glad they're talking. I wanted him to be able to meet everybody anyway. So, uh, did he? Okay, he's just introducing himself right now, but where is Evan going? Okay, he's just coming out here to engage in the conversation. Let's share some photos. Actually, hold on. Let's share some photos, do the compliment. Gossip a little bit, spill a little bit of tea, because, you know, the tea kettle is very hot. Um, we need to find out somebody's business. We always in somebody's business, y'all. We always are. You guys love the drama, and so do I. I'm glad to see everybody's talking. Uh, Evan is feeling flirty. Of course he would be. You guys saw that date. I know I saw the date because I'm the one who was playing it, but. I could have sworn I seen. Oh, current relationship status, acquaintances. Neither a friend nor a foe, just an average relationship. I mean, oh, they're already flirting segregating themselves from the group and stuff. They're so cute. Um, I'm going to express admiration. Compliment appearance, of course. Flirt. Can they? <laughs> ooh -hoo. So everybody's going to be in here not understanding where they went. They're about to do the deed. I mean, they're ready. I mean, why not? So while they're over there, I'm just going to monitor what everybody else is doing. Everybody's just having a good chat. Do you see them in the background? <laughs> everybody's just having a chat. They're like, oh. I smell woo-hoo in the air, but I'm not sure. Do you see her face? It says it all. She's like, girl, girl, do you see what's going on, girl? She understands. She's like, <laughs> she's like, I'm confused at everything. And she's talking to Kyla. She's like, what's good with you? Lydia's like, where's my man at? That's all I'm wondering. Everybody, everybody's over here with getting frisky and stuff. Where's my man? <laughs> That's what Lydia's thinking. She's like, girl, it's only a matter of time before I ditch the joint, too. <laughs> Sue looks a little bit happier than she was before. And they're still doing it. All right. 
I don't understand why Sue always wears this outfit. Girl, don't walk in on something you don't want to see, okay? All right, well, <laughs> she's going to watch TV. I don't understand why Sue's always wearing this outfit when I made her another one. And actually, Brendan doesn't even know her, so I'm going to have him introduce himself. Did he meet everybody else? Damn. Okay, so... I was just trying to have, make sure... I love your slippers, sir. Like, everything is on fleek. Evan's already texting. He's probably telling his brother, like, oh my goodness. Oh, you, should, you should hear what just happened. Probably wants to share the good news. I feel like they should go steady very soon, so... I'm actually going to have that happen. And actually, maybe we'll actually even have Evan move in. Where is he going? Is he leaving? Oh no, he's just getting in the conversation. Let's ask him out. Let's ask him out. Let's pull him off to the side. Because this needs to happen. Alright, so they are now an exclusive couple. Evan and Brendan. And... Damn, we can't ask him to move in yet? Oh, there it is. Alright, so we're gonna ask him to move in. Maybe he'll say yes. Maybe he'll say no. I don't know. Moving in together. Click OK to go to household split and merge to modify which sims will live in which household. Okay, so we're gonna click that. And we're gonna have them move in together. You guys are so sweet. I'm looking at my comments. Somebody just commented too because somebody already commented first. Like, you guys are really, what's up? Uh, so we're gonna have Evan move in with Brendan. So that gives more room. And actually, we might even work on Sue's relationship in this part. Just to get her out of the house as well. And then maybe we'll have... Uh, I forgot the main character's name for a second. Lydia <laughs> move in with Russell. And then it will just be Lydia Russell. Their uh, unborn child, if she decides to keep it. And then uh, we could find a potential match for Sue if it's not going to be Marcus. Because Marcus, just to be honest, he really isn't even feeling her like that. Like, I'm sure you guys have noticed, like, she'll flirt with him a little bit. And then after that, um, he'll, like, start giving her the cold shoulder. So I don't know how to feel about her and Marcus right now. I think I might just have to make her somebody special like I did with Evan and Brendan. Just keeping it real. So I'm going to switch over to somebody else. I'm actually... I don't know. I feel like we don't see enough of Sue. So I feel like we should play as her. But I also want to pick up on what's going on with Kyla. So I actually might just do both of them, actually. And I want to give Sue a little makeover off screen. Because I'm just sick of this outfit. It was cute when I first did it. But now I'm just over it. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, y'all. So here we are with Sue. I decided I was going to give her a risque makeover. This is her new outfit. Huh? With the... Damn, Sue back at it again with the black Louboutins. She, you know, did a little bit something different with her hair. This is a lace front wig. I'm keeping it real. It's a nice piece. It looks actually like her real hair. Um, but you can see the, the lace right here. That's how, you know... You could tell whether or not it's a wig, you know? You feel me? So, um, my little brother is so annoying. Hold on, y'all. Uh, well, he got caught. Anyway, <laughs> all right, um, I'm gonna try and, like, call Marcus or whatever and invite him to hang over. If he says no, we, we're we about to just, you know, go out on the town and chill out. You feel me? Because I'm just, I just can't wait, you know? All right, so he's coming over, y'all. And there he is. He showed, he was on us like white on rice. Sure was. Saw her outfit and said, I'm going to come over real quick. All right, so let's go take a picture together and stuff. <laughs> Russell, I'm going to just have you call your boo. So, Sue, let's get this show on the road, girl. We have a lot of work to do. Uh, it's been a hot minute. Let's flirt a little bit. 
we're not about to let this be a whole casual discussion. Like, even if he doesn't want us, like, we could just make this a whole little fling. Like, let's let Sue be the single one in the group until, you know, somebody decides they want to tie her down. It's a, it's a suggestive conversation. Like, a little bit of chatting in between the flirtation. And I'm, like, happy for her in a way because, you know, she hasn't gotten much action. Everybody else is, you know, feeling somebody except her. So let's just keep complimenting him. Let's keep flirting. Uh, let's blow a kiss, too. Why not? It's as if, so he already, okay, it's an amorous exchange at this point. So I feel like it's time to exchange the numbers. And then we're going to try and make a move. We're going to try and kiss him or whatever. Sue, it is your time to shine, girl. Her nails are mad cute. I chose a good color for her. And I'm so glad I got that little mod that overrides the phone. All right, so it worked. At first, it looked like he was rolling his eyes. I was looking at him like, who are you giving an attitude? You know? So now that... Okay, what's going on now? Ah, we can. All right, we're about to get some. Sue's about to get some action, y'all. It is about time. Yes, <laughs> Sue was excited. <laughs> Sue, girl. It's about time. It was past due, girl. It's, a, it's time for you to shake out the dust. All right, go ahead, girl. Make sure he don't pull on your wig. So Russell over here, let's chat with Lydia a little bit more. Now that we've done our little thing with Sue, I am excited. Like, it was about time. I don't know why she has beef with Ashton. I was about to make him our next victim. This Finn guy, oh, he got a wife. You know what? We're about to be grimy. Let's, how about we invite him over and, I don't know. Let's we'll flirt a little bit. Get him ready for the next, uh, the next part, y'all. It was about time, Sue, girl. I am proud of you, girl. It was about time. It was that whole new, like, persona, huh, girl? I feel like the next person I need to do, like, a new outfit for is Russell. Because every time I see him, he's in this. Even though I made him this second outfit, which is mad cute. He never wears it. But... He wants to become flirty. Lovers, soulmates, sweethearts. You know what? Let me invite Lydia over because they've been talking for a while. I've been taking it slow with them. I don't know if she's his girlfriend yet. So, oh, Lydia's busy right now, y'all. I think she might be at work. It is like 2 o'clock. I know she works uh, from like... Sometime, like, I think it's 10 to 5. So what's Sue over here doing? I think she's basically no, um, telling him that she had a good time or whatever. Uh, we're getting to know him, which is kind of messed up. After you do it, that's when you want to get to know him. Sue, girl, I'm not going to judge you. He's active. Let's, girl, why are you standing in front of him like that, girl? You just couldn't wait, huh? Let's share some photos. Telling him to follow you on Instagram. Confess attraction. He has, I know from watching other people's stuff, is. Like, he has commitment issues, so I'm not even going to try and force him to do nothing. I'm going to just get to know him, be more of a friend, you know? Because sometimes, to be honest, sometimes these dudes don't be ready, you know? So, I'm going to uh, tell her to give him a kiss, and then we're going to send him on his merry way. Okay. So where's the kiss? That's all I'm trying to do before you go. Uh, 
this whole little plan I have with Sue and Finn, because you know he's married. It reminds me of this song that Cardi B did when she was like, I got a man, but I really want yours. Why is he over here arguing with Candy? You don't, you never need to argue with a girl whose wig look cheap like this. Look at her hair. Look at her hair. Like, let's keep it real right now. Would you waste your time arguing with her? She looks ridiculous. This is a cheap wig. It's synthetic. It's pack weave, you know? Like, I wouldn't even waste my time. I don't know what was going on between them, but just just ignore her. Go, go run on the treadmill, you know? So, I guess in the next part, I'll have Sue work on this little plan she has, you know, to get Finn. But at this point, we're going to move over to Kyla. And we're going to see what's really going on. I'll see you okay, in a second. Okay, so here we are with Kyla, girl. She's expecting Ivan to come back. Because, you know, last time we saw them both, they had a pretty crazy night. So what she's going to do is she's going to get ready for him, you know. Oh, no, I pressed party. Y'all, I'm crazy. Sleep. Okay, so she basically has the lingerie. She's half naked. She's in her penthouse half naked. So where the hell he at? Girl, she got her hair ready, her silk robe, and her champagne. So she's waiting for him to come through the door. But I think I have a little plot twist, you know? Uh, no, Jasenia's not back yet. That would be crazy, but I'm gonna have him come over, come back home, and go here. She's waiting for him. I'm actually gonna just have her... Hmm, where's the, she's gonna look through the internet, you know, while she's waiting. She got the champagne ready for him. She got her hair and her curlers, you know. So she's excited. Here he's, he's coming. He's on his way, you know, she's excited. Ivan, where have you been? I've been, I've been waiting for you to come back. The other night we had such a good time, you know. <laughs> I'm so excited to see you. So basically, you know, she's she's excited, you know. I think that romantic spark has gone away, though, to be honest. Uh, so they're just talking now. She probably doesn't understand what's going on. She's excited. She's hoping it, you know, it goes there again. She's loving the attention. Because he's telling her she's beautiful. And she's listening to it. Like, of course, who doesn't like compliments? I'll keep it real. If somebody's going to give me some attention, I'm going to take it. Okay, so I see where she's messing up, you know? He doesn't know much about her relationship with Jasenia anyway. So it's not, like, it's not like they're best friends. So she's basically thinking, like, your man is my man. Like, mi casa es su casa. And... I mean, you're just going to have to accept it, you know? <laughs> At this point, once again, I think it might just go there. They had a pretty good uh, night last time. It's only a matter of time, you know, before something happens again. How about we offer her a rose? Who doesn't like flowers, you know? Let's give her a rose. Why not? She got all ready to see you. She's excited. It's a steamy exchange. She's loving it. Oh, my God. He just had to embrace her. Look at them doing the poses I downloaded. Look at that. She's all up on him. I mean, it adds to the story, you know? <laughs> I love it, girl. Your photo shoot ready, to be honest. That's why I need to take those out. Because whenever they try to embrace, it's going to do that. So, I mean, he's going to get what he wanted once again. 
she's excited. I mean, that's what she got ready for. You see the silk robe. Once you break out the Victoria's Secret silk robe, it's a wrap. So... I'm thinking it might have not saved the last time because everything I had to do it all over again. It says they're woohooing for the first time, which in terms of this story, no, they haven't. This is like the second time this is happening and I'm sticking to it. So she's doing that, you know, and yeah, she's getting her money's worth. She spent that money on them curlers. She spent that money on them that money on them fuzzy heels. She spent her money on that champagne. She better have a good time. I mean, Ivan's good looking, so I mean, I would be having a good time too, girl. Uh, ooh. But yeah, I mean, there's that uh they're gonna flirt a little bit. But you know what? He's starting to feel like he did something wrong, you know? So he's gonna give her the cold shoulder, of course. He's like, you know what? I feel kind of bad about what I did. I gotta keep it real with you. I need to apologize first. But the whole reason I came back you know, was to get, I came here to get with Jasenia. So, you know, she's upset too. She's mad. She's like, okay, well, I feel like, I feel like you used me. I don't appreciate that. And I'm going to need you to get out of my room. I don't like that you're playing with my feelings. And basically, like, he's just going to go, you know, somewhere, chill out. And hopefully... You know, this can be reconciled, but at this point, she don't want him in her room. He just told her that he's, he came here to try and get back with his ex. I mean, she had a good time, granted. I mean, she got her nails all finessed and everything's on point, but... I mean, if he's here to get with, you know, Kyla... I mean, not Kyla. <laughs> Jasenia, Then she doesn't want anything to do with that situation. It's a sticky situation, and she's glad he told her the truth. So at this point, I feel like it's about time to wrap up this part. I feel like, yo, everybody got some in this part. Evan got some, Sue got some, Kyla got some again. I mean, y'all just gonna have to stay tuned for the next part. But leave a comment below on what you'd like to see in the future on my channel. Leave a like, share the video, tweet me. Tweet me what you'd like to see as well. Follow me on Tumblr, complex-sims. Follow me on Twitter, complex-sims, just like here. Uh, share the video, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And until next time, I will see you all soon. Bye. Bye.